Hey guys, Sam from 3D here. In this short video, I would like to show you how you can change the camera, the camera view, and also it means that you can change the render view. So let's go to it. So first thing, we don't see the camera inside. The reason is because it's unselect. Now I'm going to enable it. And now this little thing appeared. Here is the camera. Cool. So we have the camera. If I click zero on numpad, zoom out, then I see how the render will look like. So this is basically what will be rendered after I click render and render image. Perfect. So this is how it can look like. But what if you want to change and you want to render it from side or from the back? Let's take a look on it. So here I have the camera and I have two ways how I can operate with it. Basically I can use the move tool here. Here is the move tool. I can move with the, with the mouse or I can click G, which is basically the move tool and freely I can move with it. If I click G and Y, I'm going with the I axis, G and X is X axis, G and Z is Z axis. Cool, so this is it. And now, for example, I want to render it from the side. So with the G, I'm moving it and with the R, I'm going to rotate. The same principle is R and X, Y, Z. Okay, I move it. Now I see that it's pointing this direction. So this is where the camera is pointing. Cool, if I click again, zero, I have the, the camera view. If I'm not satisfied, the other way how I can change it is basically inside the camera, I click G and I can move it, right? So this is how it looks like. If I click render, render image, I can see that the render is rendered from the side. It's pretty cool what you can do. So the same things are working also if I am inside or outside the camera. This yellow box is showing me that I am, my camera is selected. So if I click R and Y, Z, X, I am rotating. With G, I am moving. And that's it. Basically, this is how easy it is to operate the camera and change the render view or the camera view. Thank you so much. I am Sam from 3D and let's continue.